Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard and in this video I'll show you how to use a graphics calculator to uh, perform these uh, calculations. So we'll look at the exam type question and in this example it says uh, while investing on a particular stock market an investor knows that uh, in a given year he can take a profit of $5,000 with a probability of 0.3 or take a loss of $1,000 and then the first part to the problem says what is the investor's uh, expected uh, gain or loss on the stock and the second part of the problem says what are the variance and standard deviation of the investor's uh, gain on the stock so we'll begin by setting up the distribution table we know that uh, the random variable x is the uh, profit that he can take so if it's a profit then it's a positive five thousand dollars loss of course will be negative uh, one thousand the probability is 0 0.3 for a profit of 5,000 and 0 0.7 of course it will add up to 1 also 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 is 1 so one negative 1,000 will have a probability of 0 0.7 so from main menu go to uh, states menu, and then you'll be given list 1 list 2 and so forth now uh, they will end up with this uh, screen now you must turn the sub name field off and uh, otherwise you'll end up with wrong results so you must turn this field off and uh, to do that go shift main menu which gives you the setup and then scroll down to sub name field make sure you turn that off so just click enter and now that has gone uh, now in doing that uh, you will uh, now be able to get the right results and then the next thing you will need to do is uh, click uh, f6 and then uh, delete everything that's in the cell because you may have got six seven eight nine or twentieth cell being filled already which is not seen here so it's easy to just click f4 delete all and then you go f1 uh, confirming the selection so you can see it has um, emptied all of the entries there likewise you can uh, just quickly do the uh, second one because you'll be using list one and list two and once you've done that then we'll enter the um, data so the x value goes in list one so we had uh, five thousand dollars and uh, then uh, the other x value was negative one thousand and then uh, we got to uh, list two. In list two, the corresponding uh, probability for 5,000 was 0 0.3. Enter. And then the corresponding probability for minus uh, 1,000 was 0 0.7. Enter. Quickly check that the uh, total should add up to one. That means you haven't missed any. So in this case, you've got uh, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 is uh, 1.0. Now, once you've done that, then um, uh, go to um, and just click F6 so that you got this um, uh, main page here which uh, shows uh, calculate so we'll click F2 and then uh, before you uh, select one variable make sure you uh, go to the uh, settings which is uh, F6 and here you got to be very careful the settings must uh, say list 1 list 2 list 1 list 2 and then one and in this case I can see that the second one says one I must change that if you don't do that then uh, you'll get the wrong result because you've already entered the information in lists one and two so list one for the first part then the frequency is coming from list two so click list and then you can enter number two enter that so you've got uh, list one list two list one list two so now we all set and then press exit takes you to the back page and then uh, we are all set to press one variable and uh, in doing so it reveals all the um, uh, states and x bar is mean which is uh, the expected value and we calculated that earlier manually it was eight hundred dollars and then we have got sum of um, x squared which was 8.2 uh, million if you still remember and uh, the standard deviation was uh, $2,749.55 uh, 
and there you have it this is how you can uh, use your graphics calculator to check your answer now there is a process uh, what i would suggest is uh, if you can pause the video and take notes do not forget to uh, turn off the uh, sub name field and also delete uh, everything in the uh, two cells list one and list two and before you press uh, calculate uh, go back and change uh, the uh, settings for the lists it should appear as list one list two list one list two and then uh, you're all good to uh, go from there once you've got this then uh, you will need to uh, write the answer in context the investors expected gain is $800 with a standard deviation of uh, $2,749.55 thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video